What's up YouTube? This is the Wisco Boater Channel. My name is Chad and we are in my kitchen today because uh, I'm going to start off this video with an unboxing of, where's it at? The new water heater. So we're going to install and we're going to take out the old water heater and install this new water heater in the Chris Craft. Uh, I don't normally do unboxing videos, but I really don't have anything else to do until I get back up to the boat. So I thought I'd go ahead and start with this, but I think it's going to be kind of neat to see a brand new water heater coming out of the box. So the old water heater, as you can see from these pictures right here, and I'll show it, you know, again when we get when I get when I get back up there to uh, remove the old one. Uh, but you can see from these pictures that um, it's just time to remove and replace. It still works fine. Um, hot water supply is there. Um, there's no leaking or anything like that. It's just an older hot water heater unit from Raritan. Probably the original to the boat would be my guess. These do tend to last quite a while. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and be proactive with the water heater. Um, you can see uh, here's a close up of the of the uh, base of that water heater. And you can see some, there's some deformation there, um, denting. And I, you know, you can't tell from the outside if there's any anything damaged on the inside. I also don't know if these older ones were glass lined um, like the newer ones are. Um, so there could be some damage inside that inside that one. Uh, first we're going to start with unboxing this one and I'll talk a little bit about some of the other water heaters that I looked at along the way. But this is a brand new direct replacement for the Raritan 1700 that's in the boat. This is a uh, 17-1201 is the is the model. All right, well, let's uh, see what we can do to get the box opened up. All right, as Jersey's gonna show us here, this is a 1700 series. Uh, water heater. This does not have a heat exchanger. The one that's on the boat does not have a heat exchanger. Um, so this is a direct replacement. All right, one thing I wanted to do to uh, just verify that the water heater will fit down through the hatch. According to their website, uh, it does have a side-to-side -side dimension with the plastic base of uh, just under 21 inches. Uh, and about uh, 19 and a half inches of width around the cylinder. But the height is supposed to be about 16 and a half. And the base, it's uh, 16 and a quarter. So that is perfect. I've got almost 19 inches of space, I think 18 and three quarters through the hatch. So this will be tipped on its side and it'll go down through the hatch and uh, It'll fit just fine. Now, one thing I do want to point out with the rare tan, and it says it right here. You probably can't see it, but it says made in the USA. That wasn't a, ma a major criteria for buying the rare tan replacement for the old rare tan, but that is nice. Uh, all the fittings are going to be um, easy to find because I probably have to, I will probably have to put some new uh, fittings, uh, plumbing fittings on it. Um, I'd be surprised if I can get the old ones off, but uh, those will be easy to find. Parts uh, are easy to come by, and their warranty is good. Five years, five or five year limited warranty. Some of the others that I considered were uh, the Kuma, which is a square uh, box style water heater. Um, I was a those will fit size wise, and I think they're 11 gallons. This is a 12 gallon. Um, the Kuma is, or Kumo, however you say it, is a, about half the price of these rare tans, and they're very commonly used. Uh, a lot of people seem to have very good luck with them. There was uh, another one from uh, um, Air Pump. Air Pump. I might have to put that up on the screen here. I don't remember what the name of it is. It's a Swedish company, 
they they make a really nice looking um, uh, water heater in eight gallons, 12, 10 gallons, 12 gallons, and all the way up to like 20, 24, 36 gallon. Those were not bad at uh, around $500. Um, I looked at even cheaper ones just to have some idea what else was out there. I shopped for about two months um, before buying this. I looked at, uh, um, I think it's Reliant is the brand that I found on Amazon, which is more like a RV um, small motorhome type of water heater. It looks very similar to the Raritan. Connections are very similar. Um, that, that, that was like 375 bucks, something like that. I even went so far as to look at uh, some of the uh, water heaters that you can get at like Home Depot and Lowe's um, from companies like Ream and Carrier. Um, but those are not suited for use on a boat. Um, so you, you gotta stick with a, a at least a RV motorhome style or more specifically a marine uh, water heater. So um, I think there was one more brand that I may have looked at, but I don't remember what it is. But what it came down to was after sh after shopping for two months, um, most of the prices on these on these Raritans were in the nine fifty to full retail fourteen hundred fourteen hundred fifty dollars something like that for the model twelve gallon model without the heat exchanger. And I kind of just dragged my feet because I didn't really want to spend nine hundred fifty dollars. On the replacement water heater and prices fluctuate up and down i kind of watched pricing on amazon because you can buy these on amazon to see where they were and then if you know if they came down i would check some of the other supply marine supply stores that that have these and prices crept down just a little bit here in the last few weeks and i found this one on uh, blue water boat supplies website for 804.99 $805 free shipping and it arrived in like three days FedEx with no damage so I really can't believe that but I mean I haven't turned it on yet so fingers crossed that it's not damaged but no damage appeared it is nicely packaged um, so brand new 12 gallon without heat exchanger full five-year warranty uh, a limited warranty 805 bucks shipped that was a fantastic deal. As soon as they found that, I was like, all right, that's what I'm gonna get. Today is the day I'm going to uh, get the water heater in the boat replaced. The new one is sitting right out there and it's gotta go down there. But first I gotta get the old one out. Um, I think there's three water connections to uh, unhook and uh, remove the electrical. I do I'll unhook everything, uh, slide it forward. Um, and then put it onto that platform. And then uh, my buddy Scott over there is gonna come help me get the old one out, drop the new one in, and then I'll rehook everything back up. Might run to the store to get uh, new hardware, some new fittings. Um, just take, I'll take a look at the condition of the, the current ones. If they're reusable, I'll reuse them. If they're not, I'll just run to the hardware store, get some new stuff, and uh, hopefully get this project wrapped up today. I guess here we go. All right, first thing I'm going to do is crack open the drain here. And it's going to let water down into the bilge. So we'll get this down the bilge, pumped overboard, and then come back and disconnect this, this fitting here. Take the hose off and disconnect this fitting. And then I'll go around the back side, unhook the electrical, and we've just got uh, three or four screws around the base that have to come out. So we'll get the water drained and then move on to fittings. Okay, we got our bilge pump back here running. The water is running from the front to the back, down in through the keel bilge there. So that's all good. And you can hear it pumping overboard on that side of the boat. And our water should be pretty close to being drained out here. And the next one I'll do is going to be this fitting. 
get a bucket ready because that's not quite going to reach the bilge. Maybe won't get any water out of it. Oh, look at that. It drained out all the way. Okay. And we'll do this one. Which this one will reach the bilge if I have any water in there. all the water connections I gotta go around the back side unhook the electrical it's in this panel back here there's a power ground and well there's line neutral and ground that needs to be disconnected so not really gonna be able to get a good shot of that so I'm not gonna video it but but that will be the next step okay got our wiring all taken off uh, by the way, circuit breaker powers off, so um, always uh, want to make sure and mention that. <laughs> Don't do any of this stuff without turning breakers off and checking to be sure that there is no power present. So, get this moved towards the front or towards the back here, I guess it is. I wish it would fit right through here, but uh, these batteries I think are just in the way. I really would like to do this without removing a battery but I don't think I can I may give it a try Whew. all right well the water heater is out I was able to lift this out of here by myself I brought it um, over the top of those two batteries set it on the waste tank and then it fit through uh, coming forward between these two batteries here so um, hopefully I can get the new one in without uh, moving batteries but I will be having help uh, Scott's going to come over and help me get the new one put, put back down there because I don't want to break anything because um, I did break something. <laughs> I have to go to the store and get a new uh, uh, shut off because all I did was lean it over slightly and this metal apparently is just super brittle and it uh, it broke the shut off valve so Okay, Scott's here. We're going to uh, get the water heater from the cockpit down below. And uh, Dottie's our, our eyes, our safety inspector. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this isn't terribly heavy, but. Step one done. should fit up and over the battery. batteries. Yes. Awesome. All right. That's great. All right. I can 
and spin it around and do the fittings back here and get it wired back up and finish this out. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for the help. Let's... You want to come over once Heidi gets back and do the win or tour and yeah. window? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And I want to get that window thing too, so because people were asking on the Carver website too. Okay. There's no videos on that. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go over to Scott's boat here in a little bit and his uh, Carver 36 aft cabin. Beautiful. Beautiful Carver <laughs> 36 <laughs> aft cabin, named Martini. And uh, we're going to do a port light window replacement. So look for that video. Okay, it's time to start putting uh, fittings back on the water heater. I've got everything down here that I think I'm going to need. Hopefully, I don't have to make another trip back upstairs, but that's always a possibility. So um, I will uh, just show you what all this looks like when when I'm done. I'm just um, recreating the fittings that were on the old water heater I could not get them off they were basically frozen to the to the old water heater so went to the hardware store and bought um, all new fittings that will basically match up to what was what was on the boat before the one thing I did forget to buy is a uh, overboard discharge hose for the um, pressure relief valve so I'll run back to the store and get a hose for that, but everything else is um, everything else is here. So I'll get all the fittings put back on. I'll show you what it looks like. But as I'm getting ready to hook everything up, and then I'll have to take this cover off to uh, get the water heater wired. I'll do that last. So all right, I need to look at a picture so I can see what I'm doing or know what I'm doing and get everything back in place as it should be. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here's all the new fittings. Um, they don't uh, exactly match up in the same position that I had before, but um, it's, uh, it shouldn't be a big deal to get everything hooked back up. So I need to spin the water heater around to the water connections and uh, get everything hooked back up. And then I'll work on the electrical and uh, we'll test this thing out here very, very soon. So we've got, we've got our water lines I'll hook back up. This is cold supply. This is the drain. This is overboard pressure relief discharge. The boat did not have this. Well, it had the, the fitting here, but it did not have a hose going down into the bilge. So that was on the survey. So that's taken care of. Then I had to uh, do a little bit of a modification here to this is hot water out and uh, we could not find a straight fitting at the hardware store. We looked for <laughs> probably a good half hour with the, with some of the people at Ace Hardware. They're great people, um, but we couldn't find a straight fitting. So I bought an eight inch pipe to get it up high enough to where there wouldn't be too much uh, strain on the hose as it, uh, as it goes up into the uh, supply lines. All right, so we come around on this side and we've got all the wires hooked up. Uh, black is line, white is neutral, red is ground. So that's all hooked up. I'm just gonna get those tucked in and then we'll tighten up the strain relief and uh, get the cover put back on. And then we'll go turn this thing on and uh, hopefully everything works out just fine. All right, so here we have the new water heater installed. Everything is hooked up, water's back on, circuit breaker is on, and it should be warming up. We'll check for hot water here in a little bit. But uh, everything went fairly smoothly. I have one tiny little drip. As you can see it, it's dripping from that fitting, uh, which is the hot water out. Um, so I'll probably have to, at some point, uh, take the, uh, I'll shut the water off, take that fitting off and rewrap it in um, uh, plumber's tape. Uh, my guess is I just didn't, uh, maybe I just didn't get enough plumber's tape on there, but everything else is good, no other leaks. So happy with everything as it is. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that drip here in a little bit. But uh, overall, 
it's in all good all right well it is a, a couple hours later uh, I, I have since showered and uh, got myself cleaned up because that was that was a sweaty sweaty job but everything downstairs is looking good I got the uh, drip fixed just tighten up the fitting a little bit and turn on the hot water oh it's getting warm it's getting hot that's really hot So, a uh, successful day of installing a new water heater, the Raritan 1700 series, direct replacement for what was in there before. Thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments. And if you wanna be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. See you next time. Happy boating, everybody.